Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Mackenzie and today I'm starting, it's going to be two days in the life, Thursday, Friday, so one school day, one non-school day for you guys. Just so that you guys can get a glimpse into my days. I'm a sophomore fashion merchandising student if you guys are new around here. Um, and I have all online classes, just Tuesdays and Thursdays though. So today is a school day. It's about 9.20. I woke up at 8.30 and typically I like go on a walk, you guys know. I like get out and I get my body moving, but I just wasn't in the mood today. It's very dreary outside and I didn't have a friend like scheduled to go with me. I know that sounds crazy, but usually I like plan ahead with one of my friends. Hey, like, do you want to go for a 30, 35 minute walk with me? And I usually go with someone and, you know, we enjoy the morning. We get some talking, some walking in. But I didn't have a friend lined up. It's dreary out. And um, I looked at the humidity. And the humidity is 98% right now. And I just washed my hair yesterday. And I'm supposed to be taking pictures later tonight. But my hair does not handle humidity well. And I really don't want to have to wash it again. Um, so I was like, you know what? Just, it's, a walk is just not in the cards right now. I also don't have really the desire to go. So, um, maybe later tonight, I do tend to go on walks at night too, if I don't go in the morning. So, I'm sure I'll get a walk in. And if not, it's not the end of the world, guys. Listen to your body. So anyways, now I am making my bed because that's what I do every morning. And this bed is such a pain in the butt to make. But like I said, Today is Thursday and I have classes. So I have economics at 11. I have fashion fabrics at 12.30. And then my friend Lauren is going to be helping me take some pictures later this evening. We haven't scheduled a time yet. So I need to do that this morning. Um, schedule a time with her. I'm gonna shoot six looks tonight. And then I have to call the Mannions today because it's Thursday. And I think I might hang out with Olivia and Lauren tonight at their apartment. Just like chill, head over there, hang out, watch a movie, pop some popcorn, like who knows, just you know, sit. I haven't seen them in a few days, so we will see. Anyways, but it's time for me to sit down and get ready. I'm shooting later, like I said, so I'm gonna put some lashes on, curl my hair, and I will see you guys once you know I'm all done up. Yeah, I just did a thing which I never do. I'm not fully ready, I'm not dressed, my hair is not done, but guys, I've been craving a donut for like weeks now I don't know why but I just have so I went to Dunkin and I got myself an apple cider donut and an order of hash browns and I'm very excited I don't really eat fast food that often but I had a gift card to Dunkin and I just have not stopped thinking about this donut so I hope it's good mm. Just what I needed, guys. I don't know if I said I got a water. But anyways, cheers to that. Figured I'd start my day off on a good note. Hey guys, so I just curled my hair. I got dressed for the day. I've been responding to emails and kind of just doing a bunch of random stuff um, with the last like half hour or so. But here's what I am wearing today. I've got on a cute white little ruffled off the shoulder top from Shein. And then I've got on black jeans from Express. I'll probably wear like white mules with this outfit. I've got my AirPods in, ignore those. But these gold earrings are pretty old. They're from Walmart. I wear them all the time. I don't have any arm candy on yet just because I don't like wearing any when I work on my computer. So I'll put it on later, but I'm about to log into my economics class through Blackboard Collaborate and get started with my school day. I am really hoping that I don't have any Wi-Fi issues today. So far, the Wi-Fi has been pretty good this morning, but I don't want to jinx it. So fingers crossed I don't have the same issues as Tuesday. I just got out of economics and I had to use my hotspot because by like 15 minutes into class like my connection started to cut out and I couldn't see like the screen it was like sorry the connection's so bad but like it was too late for me to walk over to like the library then I would have missed even more class so I had to turn on my hotspot and use my data which is so annoying because I don't have unlimited data but 
Oh well, so I just packed up my backpack and I am walking over to the library right now. I only have 15 minutes in between my classes. Luckily I can make it from the sorority house on the campus in that amount of time, but just like Tuesday, I'm gonna have to like sit down and do my schoolwork from campus, which is kind of frustrating, but oh well. So I ended up coming to the Integrated Science Building just because it's a little bit closer and it's super quiet in here and I just found a seat, like literally there's no one around me um, to set up. I have AirPods in, but I can like still talk without bothering other people because no one's here. So I'm about to log into my fashion fabrics class. We're doing lab four today, which is on cellulosic versus protein fibers. And yeah, gonna use my swatch kit that I was working on in some of my earlier vlogs these weeks. It shrinks away, it burns. Yeah, cause it stopped. Extinguishes when removed from the flame, yes. So it's a few hours later and I am home now from my fashion fabrics class. I also did a microeconomics quiz for the week and now I'm pretty much done with my schoolwork for the weekend. I always tell you guys I try to get a majority of my schoolwork done Monday through Thursdays. That way I can kind of chill out. And right now it just feels like I don't really have a heavy course load because I've told you a few times one of my classes, which is three credit hours, doesn't begin for a few more weeks. It's a like 10 week course. So right now I'm just taking 13 credits. However, I will complete 16 this semester. So like right now I'm just kind of cooling. So I really haven't had too much work and last semester I was in very project heavy classes and essay like writing intensive classes. This year I'm in more classes that are like read this chapter, watch this lecture, and then take this quiz. There's really not a whole lot of extra assignments which I'm very grateful for. But anyways, so I've been back, like I said, for a couple of hours. I needed to charge my camera, which is why I haven't chatted with you guys in a little bit. I did just go ahead and paint my nails with the gel polish machine. They didn't last as long as I had hoped, but I just painted them white. I'm hoping that these last two weeks. And okay, I just got two pairs of express jeans. I placed an express order last week. No, not last week, two days ago. And these literally came in two days. And I got five pairs of jeans for $105. I got them for a collaboration. I went $5 over. It was a $100 gift card. But um, here's the first pair of pants I got. They're just black straight leg high-waisted jeans. I have the cropped flares, but I wanted a pair of straight legs. I honestly will probably cut off the bottom of these to make them a raw hem, but I got those. And then I actually already have this pair of jeans. Um, like I already have them and I wear them all the time. So I went ahead and grabbed them again and these are the cropped flare high-rise jeans i got them in a double zero i have them in a zero right now and they're a little big on me just because i lost some weight like in this area so they're running a little big on me however this double zero looks like a little bit bigger than their average double zero but who knows anyways so now i'm about to plan outfits my friend lauren my roommate last year if you guys haven't really been keeping up with my vlogs um, my roommate last year, Lauren, is going to help me take pictures today, and I am planning on doing a huge date night outfits a blog post. There's going to be, I think, 18 different dates, and I'm going to do the mirror style because that's what you guys like to see the most, and it's with this big box of Shein stuff on the ground. However, I do need to grab just a few, like, actual photos like nice photos of me like posed you know outside so i'm gonna shoot three of the 18 outfits this dress is one of them and then this top is another one of them like a little sweater tank and then this top is one of them this date is a winery i'm gonna pair this top with jeans and a pair of heels so i need to like outfit plan and grab jeans and stuff for those pieces and then i'm gonna shoot three hello molly looks as well just six outfits today it's gonna be really quick um, this pair of shorts with this white top I actually wore yesterday. I love the two pieces together. And then I'm going to shoot this cute little black dress and then this white little sweater top. So just need to plan some outfits and pack them up 
in my hunter duffel bag so i've got the three shein looks laid out and then i've got the three hello molly looks laid out i'm gonna start off in that outfit right there that i wore yesterday just because it's the hardest top to get into but time to pack up bag is packed i am leaving to pick lauren up at like 5 50 ish it's 4 30 right now and my next task is to try on all of these opali clothes that came the other day and you know film a try on with them i might have time to film the sit down portion i might not but i'm in the first set right now i'm about to set up my camera right here and get filming. First of all, Taylor Swift folklore album, 10 out of 10. Second of all, Opali clothes, 10 out of 10. So I just filmed the sit down portion for that Opali haul and I just got changed into the Hello Molly outfit I was wearing yesterday. This is gonna be the first outfit I shoot today. And I just heated up some dinner. Yesterday, Lou served chicken wrapped in bacon and I just wasn't here because I went and grabbed tacos with Liv, but I did ask for a late plate, which is basically just, she puts leftovers in a box with your name on it. So I got a late plate, that way I would have dinner tonight, just because tonight was barbecue pork chops and I just really wasn't in the mood for that. So having this, my last baked potato, with some sour cream and cheese and then she also gave me a dinner roll yesterday so gonna sit down and eat that while i edit through yesterday's vlog i meant to do this earlier today and i'm just now getting to it but i've got about half hour until i pick up lauren you guys it just wasn't meant to be look at the sky, look at the sky. lauren and i attempted to take two outfits it's just not worth it probably gonna have to reshoot those it's not bad it's just like it's really not it's good. It's not it's not good. good. <laughs> so um luckily I can just like leave this packed bag in my car and hopefully I can just take these tomorrow if it's nice out. Um hopefully I can find a friend that's free. Lauren has to work tomorrow, sadly. Yeah, sorry about so, that. So um totally okay, you know, gotta work, gotta make the money, but um we're we're giving up on this. The dream is dead, it's six fifteen, we're already going home. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. I'm back in the outfit that I've been wearing all day. And honestly, I'm just trying to be like Oh well about today's photo shoot it happens and it stinks and I was really hoping to get all those pictures shot but there's nothing I can do about it you know sometimes it just doesn't work out and honestly I had a gut feeling this morning that the weather wasn't going to work in my favor so oh well I'm home now it's 7 15 I did go into Olivia and Lauren's apartment for a little bit to help Lauren with um, an APA like assignment she needed help she's not that good at grammar so I helped her out now I'm back home and I'm going to finish up editing this vlog um, that I was starting before I left I'm gonna finish that up and post my picture before calling the Mannions and then after I call them I might head over back to Olivia and Lauren's just to hang out but I do need to get this work done this is like my last like big task of the day like the last thing I actually need to do so gonna knock it out just finished editing and now it's uploading itself to YouTube. Just posted to my stories, decided not to post on Instagram today. And now I'm about to call Connor's family. Hi Scrub! Hello, Scrub. <laughs> Hi guys! Okay, I talked with the Manians and now I'm here at Olivia and Lauren as well, and Krista and Ruby's. And I'm making us some popcorn because we just- We have to. We it's have to do it. It's, it's Lauren and I's tradition. Um, and I brought M&M's to sprinkle on the top with the M&M's because that's how we like I it. I don't know how I feel about the zebra ensemble. This is, okay, this is one of the sets that I am obsessed with and I let Lauren have it. It's from Express. I love, love it. it. Okay, here we go. Two minutes, 30 seconds for the Costco popcorn. Kirkland brand's my favorite. I love that you brought these. Okay. Do you need salt? Yes. You always need salt. Always need salt. Okay, and then I just take like a handful of, a subscriber recommended this. Just like a handful of M&Ms, like about that many, and just sprinkle them about and they'll get like super <gasps> good melty. They'll get melty. And Emma used to put um, M&Ms on a plate and she would like Put them in the microwave. And this is kind of the same thing, but like with your popcorn. College kids aren't partying, they're doing this. <laughs> this is what we're doing these days. 
morning everybody it is friday now and i am in bed it's 10 a.m i've already been up for about an hour and a half doing things on my computer just responding to emails i had to link a ton of clothes for today's haul that's going up which is in collaboration with romwe and just add a bunch of tags and descriptions to a few different videos that are going up within the next few days now it is 10 7 and i'm switching gears and i'm about to write today's blog post i'm going to share some graphic tees from romwe to go along with the video that's going to be published at 11 a.m so one of my best time management tips is to set a timer for everything that you really need to get done especially if it's something that you have a hard time maintaining focus or maybe you've been procrastinating so like sometimes i just like I love writing blog posts but at the same time like sometimes they become really tedious and I just am like ugh, and I get sidetracked and I go and I respond to emails or I respond to comments open my phone and like go on snapchat tiktok whatever so I'm gonna set a 45 minute timer and attempt to knock out today's blog post in that 45 minutes I am sitting in bed today um sometimes I go to the study room sometimes I go up to the balcony other times I just write from bed today's one of those days like it's Friday because Friday is like the first day of my weekend I don't have classes I don't have any schoolwork to do today I typically will just like let myself kind of ease into the day and use Friday as kind of like a transition from school mode to weekend mode if that makes sense um, I still have a lot of work to do today not only am I getting a video and a blog post up today but I do have to film a couple of videos I am hoping to maybe take the pictures that I was supposed to take with Lauren yesterday today I don't know if I have a free friend so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of digging if I don't get around to taking pictures I'm not super worried about it but yeah it's gonna be a full day even though it's Friday so let's get to work Alexa Set a 45 minute timer. 45 minutes, starting now. Alrighty, blog post is published. It's 11.10 and I just finished up this post and made the video live. So I'm sharing four different ways to wear graphic tees and I linked everything right under each individual outfit. I don't always do this, but I figured it's a little bit easier to shop. So I just went ahead and did that. This outfit right here was definitely my favorite. The biker shorts and the t-shirt with sneakers. Very common college outfit. Linked everything there and then wrapped up the post. And then, of course, my fall try-on haul with Romwe. It just went live as well. So go give those things a watch. And now my, like, biggest task of the day is complete by 11.15, which is awesome. Hey guys, I'm finally working up the courage to show you the eating situation. <laughs> and it's because on Fridays we just have, um, like, brunch. So today is cereal bowls and bagels. So Emily and I just put our bagels in and are toasting them up. And then over here, usually there's a salad bar and stuff, but it's Friday, so we're not really fed on Fridays, except for right now. And then here's what it looks like. This is where you like peg out. So if you're not gonna be here or you want to bring a guest, you have to like put late plate, no meal, guest, all those things. And then Lou always puts up on this little board right here what we're eating this week. So this was this week's meals. I really didn't eat much here this week and then here is her kitchen, for those of you wondering. Okay, eating brunch. My bagel is like cinnamon swirl. And I have an apple. And Emily and I just vacuumed. It's looking much better in here. Little cleaning needed to happen. And then we finally set up this gold lamp. It came from Walmart like a few weeks ago. And we thought it was going to be really hard to set up. So we hadn't, we were like avoiding it. And then we were bored. So we finally set it up. And it took literally five minutes. So it looks good. We do have to get light bulbs for it. Um, I think there's one in the cabinet. We have one light bulb, but we <laughs> need to go get more for it. Um, because we just needed some light on this side of the room. We have that little lamp over there. Griffith's doing her laundry. Emily's doing who knows what. She is probably watching Gossip Girl. No, Love Island <laughs> on her phone. <laughs> and I am about to take on a very very little and I'm about to take on a very big task um, I'm about to take all of my date night outfit ideas so I have some of the pieces like laid out and I have all of these different occasions in mind that you guys sent in and requested it's going to be a blog post not a YouTube video so keep that in mind but I'm giving outfit ideas for pumpkin patch friends giving walk wedding guest corn maze farmers market coffee Fancy restaurant, apple picking movies, winery, drive-in movie, fall festival, anniversary, family event, fall picnic, 
I mean fall hike picnic and a football game and then drinks with friends so I've got tons of cute pieces and I just had a few things come from Shein in the mail and I'm about to get taken photos of all of them um, just mirror style like I said yesterday so here we go I'm a, a I am guessing that this will take me probably an hour and a half um, just to take the pictures and then I'll have to put everything away just because I haven't chosen the outfits yet. Like I haven't styled them, but fingers crossed this goes smoothly. Hi guys. So I know you've been asking for lots of loungewear recently. So I recently got a Boohoo package in and I figured I would just show it throughout today's video. Um, just because, you know, why not? I got some super, super cute pieces, a lot of sweats. I've got some sweatshirts, some tops, and rather than just like holding everything up, you know, like normally I figured why not put it in today's video. So hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first thing that I grabbed is this star two-piece set. You guys know how much I love sets. And honestly, I expected this one to be more of like a lounge set, but it feels more like pajamas. It's still super cute though. You can obviously wear it around the house. You could wear this out, but it definitely does give off more pajama vibes than anything else. So the bottoms are very, very loose. They're on the this material is definitely on the thinner side, but they're not like see-through or anything. Very, very loose throughout more of like a sweatpant feel however they do have that jogger band along the bottom and then this is what the top looks like it's super cute i do struggle with sleeve length on a lot of things and the sleeves are the perfect length on this i have it like tucked into the waistband of these joggers just because i feel like it looks a little less frumpy but super cute Okay, so next up, I grabbed this little tie-dye set as well. The top and bottoms are sold separately, so if you need a different size in top and bottom, you can totally go ahead and do so. I am wearing a size 4 in both. Typically, I like go back and forth between a 2 and a 4 in Boohoo. Kind of just depends on, honestly, what they have in stock or like if I have the specific pair of sweatpants already and I know the way I like them to fit, if that makes sense. So I didn't have either of these beforehand, so I just went with the for just for like a looser comfier fit the sweatshirt is so cute the sleeves are long enough which i love it's got two real drawstrings and then it's got a hood as well which i think is super cute and it is like full length as well it's got like a tighter band right here so you can't necessarily like pull it down the same way you can tuck this underneath your bra if you want to give it more of that cropped fit but similar to the star set i kind of just like tuck it in to the front of my pants and let the rest of it hang this is what the bottoms look like they don't have any pockets so they lose points for that and they're looser all throughout the leg they don't really taper down at all kind of more of like a sweatpant fit rather than joggers so i'm not a huge fan of that these aren't a super thin material but they are the terry cotton sweatpants i do prefer the fleece joggers just because they're comfier they're softer and you feel like you're getting more bang for your buck these are kind of like you're getting what you pay for but love the color and i think it'd be really cute with white chunky sneakers all right guys this set right here deserves seriously all of the love these two pieces are sold separately so you can get a different size in the joggers and in the sweatshirt i'm wearing a two in the sweatshirt and then a four in the joggers just for a looser comfier fit this is what the bottoms look like they are the perfect amount of bagginess in my opinion i like when they have a real drawstring so that i can cinch the waist but i do prefer a little more give in the thighs before they taper down the rest of the way i love these this set comes in a bunch of different colors. I think it's available in like five colors and it's so good. It's the perfect weight for the material of these. They're not a super heavy fleece, but they have just enough lining that it's like super soft, very comfy, and they are full length. I tend to like pull my joggers up like this and just kind of let them slouch a little bit. Just, I don't know, I think it shows off your shoes. Obviously, I'm just wearing slippers right now because it's just a try on. I'm hanging around the house. The sweatshirt is so adorable. I love that it has a cropped fit to it. You can obviously wear this unzipped or you can zip it up all the way. It does have two little drawstrings and then it does have a hood, which is so cute. Kind of like modern day juicy tracksuit vibes and this color is amazing. All right, so I've got a few different pairs of joggers coming at you, like three pairs, just because I always stock up on 
joggers from Boohoo. They have the best loungewear, hands down. So the bottoms that I'm wearing right now are actually the same as the coral joggers that I was wearing earlier. I did go ahead and save the tag. These are called the basic lounge joggers, and I love these. If they come out with more colors than these, I will definitely be picking them up in every color available. They are so soft and more of like that sweatpant feel rather than joggers. So these are great for lounging around the house. Obviously, you can wear them out, but I feel like they're more of like a comfy, like sitting on the couch watching movies with my friends like changing out of my real clothes and into comfy clothes kind of pants if that makes sense. These are actually in a size 6. I ordered these in a 4 and they accidentally sent me the 6 but I kind of like them. Okay then I went ahead and grabbed the oversized joggers. I actually have these in white and they finally came out with them in a different color. Um, I literally wear these joggers at least once a week. They are the kind of pants that like as soon as they come out of the wash I re-dirty them up because I'm constantly wearing them. I love wearing them just lounging around the house and like if I ever go over to a friend's house just to watch a movie, hang out for the night, do some like eat dinner, do something super chill, I always throw on that pair of joggers. They are just like comfy but on crack if that makes sense. They are a super thick fleece so definitely very very warm and as you can tell they're very oversized. These are more of sweatpants than joggers. They do have that jogger band along the bottom but they are definitely super super loose. You can see there's a lot of extra material material to them which I love very comfy I am wearing a size 2 in these oh no I'm wearing a size small in these I think these are small medium large if they do go by the 2 4 6 8 I usually wear the 2 or the 4 but if they go small medium large I always wear the small so they've got a real drawstring waist too which I always love Okay, I've got one more pair of gray joggers for you guys, and I love the tapered fit of these. These are called the Mix and Match Skinny Joggers, and this is the style jogger I prefer if I'm going out. Like, if I'm planning on wearing my sweatpants out of the house, I typically put on something that's got more of a skinny... Um, tapered fit to them just because I think they're more flattering. It's a really classy way to wear a loungewear as you can tell and I love the pockets on these. They've got this like little piping detail on the pockets which I think is so cute. I'm so sorry the lighting's so bad in here. Um, our apartment is like impossible lighting wise but they've got a really cute drawstring. I know these come in a few colors as well and I am obsessed with them. So I've been on the hunt for lounge shorts for quite some time now. Don't get me wrong, I love joggers, but I feel like I just find myself needing pairs of like comfy shorts every now and then. Typically when I go to bed, I just wear like a t-shirt and underwear, you know, like most people. Um, but when I'm walking around, I do want like a pair of comfy shorts to just throw on. And sometimes I'm just not in the mood for joggers. Sometimes it is warmer out. So I finally found a pair from Boohoo that I, love well this is actually the first time I've ever ordered a pair of shorts from there but I do love them and they are just like a basic lounge short I got them in black it's a fake drawstring which I'm not a huge fan of and I believe I'm wearing a size 2 in these I kind of like I could have gone a size up I think but still super cute and then I've got on a black like crop tee with this this is another shirt that I've had for quite a few months now it's one of my favorites I wear it all the time I just like pairing something like this together when I'm just hanging out here and then I did go ahead and grab that coral um, zip up in this light pink as well I told you guys it came in a few different colors and I wanted to grab it in the light pink I think it looks really cute over top of this black monochrome outfit but it would honestly just look cute with a pair of joggers as well or even over just like a white tank top and jeans that would be a really cute way to wear loungewear but I love the length of it like it's the perfect amount of crop to me and I love that it hits right where the shorts start. So super cute, funky fresh. I almost forgot to show you guys these joggers. These are like a white and peach tie-dye and they are the exact same style as the black tie-dye ones I showed you guys right at the beginning. They just didn't have the sweatshirt available in my size so I just grabbed the joggers. Honestly I'm kind of glad that I didn't grab the matching sweatshirt just because it's definitely not my favorite set from Boohoo at all. Um, it's not bad. There's just so many other styles from there that I prefer, but these are really, really cute. Again, they are looser all throughout, and they're definitely not a fleece material, so they hang a little bit differently, but very cute for just hanging out with a t-shirt. 
All right, guys, last but not least, I've got on this pair of gray lounge shorts. These are super cute. They are the exact same style and fit as the black ones. I just got them in two different colors. And again, they're really cute. I definitely, like I said, could have gone up a size just to give them a little more room right here, but I'm not mad about how they fit, you know? But like I said, I think I could have gone up if I wanted just a little more wiggle room. I'd recommend that if you are purchasing them and want more of like that oversized fit. I've also got this on with just a gray t-shirt. This is again one I've already had from Boohoo, but I will leave it linked down below. I have this in like white, I have it in black, I've got it in red, a bunch of different colors. This is the tall version, so it's a little bit longer than the black one I have on. The black one is the exact same shirt, but just in the regular, this is the tall, so it has a little extra length, but both very cute. Again, just pop it on with slippers. I've been wearing my Ugg Fluffitas like crazy lately. Super cute. And yeah, that's going to be all. Just finished up taking pictures in the date night outfits. I shot pictures in the Boohoo outfits and I just shot pictures in these Opali outfits. Just all mirror style, which is why I was able to get them all done so fast. Well, it's not super fast. It's already three o'clock, but that was a huge amount of stuff for me to get done. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna just go hang all this stuff up and then I'll show you the photos. So here is a little sneak peek of the date night outfits. These are going to go up on the blog next week, but I am so excited with how these outfits turned out and just like my first fall outfits always get me really excited. I absolutely loved this dress. I was not expecting to like it as much, but that outfit is so fire. Um, so here's some more. This one was movie night. This one was drive in. This one was winery. This one's like fall festival, I think. And there's a bunch more that I'll just kind of scroll through. So I did 16 date night outfits and then I took pictures in the Boohoo things, which you guys will have already seen because it's going to be a part of this video. But I wanted to take just some mirror pictures. That way I could post these to my like to know it and just make links easier for you guys to shop. And then I shared the Hello Molly pieces that I filmed yesterday. So very exciting, all that's done. And now I've got the Shein box of clothes back out because I'm going to film the try on portion for this video right now. Typically try ons take me about 20, 25 ish minutes. I'm just gonna set up my camera. I wasn't able to find a friend that was free to help me take pictures. So I figured might as well be efficient, use my time wisely and knock out a video. So here we go. Little roommate Griffin oh, just, so <laughs> just helps me take a picture in this set just outside so that I could have something to post. And now I'm in the kitchen whipping up dinner. So I'm very excited about this episode of Cooking with Mackenzie, everybody. Okay, so. The other day I got this steak and I am attempting to cook it in the air fryer tonight. I love steak and I've only ever like, you know, put it on the grill. Well, I haven't, my dad has. I've never cooked steak on my own. But I got this steak from like the Trader Joe's like overstock here at Kent. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Tuesdays and Fridays at Tri Towers between I think it's three and five, there's like extra produce, eggs, meat, bread, just all this extra food from Trader Joe's and you go and it's free. It's all free. You can take as much as you want, but you can only take one meat product, but you can take like as much produce or anything and it's free. So Griffith and I went on Tuesday and we picked up some stuff and I got some steak and I was like, well, I don't know if I can cook this steak because I don't have like, how am I going to cook it? And the boy who was like working there was like, cook it in the air fryer. It's really good. So I'm attempting to cook this steak in the air fryer and I have a bunch of seasoning on it. It's like Montreal steak seasoning and then this like rub and I actually got it at Olivia and Lauren's last night when I was there. They had some in the drawer and I was like rather than me going and buying it for like one steak, I was like can I just have some? So I just put some in a bag and I just seasoned it up. I hope I did that right. And then I just cut up. I also like from the Trader Joe's thing got an orange bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper. They didn't have red or green. Usually I eat those. I've never had orange and yellow, but I'm going to roast these vegetables. And it said to put some olive oil and some garlic on it. So, right Griffith, that was it. That and then salt and pepper, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. I'm honestly like kind of nervous. Um, and We'll see how it is. I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, and I'm gonna cook up some potatoes. I would have had a baked potato, but I ate my last one yesterday, so. If you're a broke college student, I'm about to put you on to something awesome. 
as far as potatoes go. Okay, so get a can of sliced potatoes. They look like this. They can be just the store-bought kind. I mean the store brand, you know. These are great value. They're Walmart brand. And drain all the juice out of them. Okay. And once you've drained the juice, just drop them in a pan. Okay. Now you're going to add just a little bit of olive oil. I just literally eyeball it. Then mix that around a little bit. Okay. Then you're going to take some thyme and you just put however much looks good. <laughs> um, I usually shake until they're evenly coated here. These potatoes are like a dollar. That is why they are good college food. But you still get some carbs in. And then, so I took some time and now I'm taking some rosemary and I'm shaking about the same amount of rosemary as I did thyme. And then you're gonna put some salt and you're gonna put some pepper. Okay, here's what they look like. And then I just put them on medium and I heat them up. Like they, you could already eat these like this. So I usually put them on for about five minutes is like as long as it takes. And they get like, not crispy, but they get to be like the perfect consistency and bam. I usually eat them with ranch. My sister just eats them normal. I'm not gonna put them on yet. I just got them ready because I just put my steak in the air fryer and it still has 13 minutes left. So um, I'll put these on in like, seven minutes okay everyone dinner is all plated i've got the potatoes my veggies look really good and then here's my steak it looks really rare on camera but it's not in person like i promise you in person it's actually pretty dark um i don't know it looks really scary on camera <laughs> but it smells so good i will do a taste test and let you know how it is you guys i can't believe i cooked that like oh my god 10 out of 10 so good my steak was a little fatty um but obviously like that's not my air fryer's fault it's kind of just like the steak that i had um but it was the perfect amount of done i only left it in i took it out like eight minutes early so it really was only in at 370 for i want to say eight minutes yes eight minutes and it was so good and the peppers were good nice and like sweet and potatoes were delicious i feel like i just consumed a lot of salt but oh well it is what it is so anyways now i'm laying in bed we have mock recruitment at eight o'clock which is basically like we're practicing for a preference round tomorrow just making sure that the ceremony runs smoothly and that our connection's good at the house because we've been having a lot of wi-fi issues so that's at eight and then some of the girls in the manch and i are going to be watching a movie downstairs and like have our first like real manch movie night um just because we haven't really bonded as a house at all. Like, I don't really know any of the girls in my sorority better now than I did when I moved in. Like, there's a few girls that I've gotten closer with, but I really haven't hung out with anyone on the third floor. So we're going to watch a movie together after mock recruitment. But that's pretty much, like, the rest of the, the plans for the rest of the day. Um, it's 6.15, though, so I have a solid two hours before mock recruitment. And I'm going to honestly just take it easy. I am thinking of sitting on TikTok for a little bit, scrolling through Instagram for a little bit, and then um, editing a video for Hello Molly. So first I'm gonna edit the video and then scroll on TikTok while I let that process. Hey guys, it has been a few hours since we've chatted. Mock recruitment went great and then I just went downstairs to kind of help with some bid day stuff and just talked with my sisters for like literally hours. We haven't really had a bunch of bonding like I said yet, but I feel like I really got to know some of the girls better tonight, which makes me feel really good um ending the day on a positive note it's already 12 30 um the last time i talked to you guys it was like eight i think but i'm gonna end this vlog off here i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing another few days in the life and i will talk to you in my next one bye guys